Why hello everyone, welcome to another game of Empire Total War. Uh, today I am playing as Sweden and my opponent is playing as Great Britain. Um, we're playing here on the Alpine Pass map, which is basically a map uh, in a valley between two mountain ranges of some kind. Um, anyway, the makeup of my army is six units of lifeguard of foot. I'm sure the guys that have these kind of cool hats right here. And I have four units of riflemen, which are my skirmishers. I have three units of uh, heavy cavalry, one on this flank and uh, one on the other. Or two on the other. And then I have one unit of grenadiers. And I also have my general's bodyguard unit. Uh, I didn't host this battle, and the rules of this battle was uh, no artillery, so uh, I couldn't bring any artillery pieces to this game, but that's okay, because artillery usually does make up the core of my armies anyway. Uh, my opponent have my opponent has two, uh, two units of lifeguard units on each flank, um, and then he has a bunch of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six elite uh, infantry, uh, the cold stream guards, and... Uh, the black watch units. He also has four units of these rangers units uh, hidden in the grass here. Here's one and there's another and there'll be more that pop up along here. Uh, I start to make my way into the middle here and uh, at first my opponent stayed back wh where he spawned because I, I think he was waiting to see what I was going to do but uh, he begins to move up his uh, skirmishers and eventually he'll move up the bulk of his army. Yeah, I don't really like when there's uh, a lot like rules that restrict like it t the total makeup of an army because you can't really like get any variation in it. I mean, if you want no fixed artillery, like no rockets or no mortars, that's one thing. But uh, when you just eliminate an entire class of unit, such as like uh, artillery or like if they limit you to how many skirmishers you have, it kind of I think uh, limits the game. But. Uh, that's what happens when you join someone else's game, they make the rules. Alright, eventually, oh, there they go. I was about to say, eventually these skirmishers will be in range, but they are. Mowing down my opponent right now. But, uh, they, they will retire, they will return fire shortly here. Uh, you can see that my opponent's also moving up his uh, cold stream guards and his uh, black watch. And now that he's started to return fire. Ooh. Snipe that guy right out. Um, on my flanks, I begin to move. I bring these two cavalry units ready to engage uh, his cavalry right here. And then I bring over my one cavalry unit over here and my uh, grenadier unit to engage these two cavalry units. And I was hoping that if this cavalry unit could hold uh, these two cavalry units, then I could uh, send my grenadiers in to throw their grenades at uh, these line infantry units. But uh, we'll see. Uh, in the middle, uh, it's just a really broad engagement around on the front. I see that his uh, line infantry, his black watch and whatnot, are uh, moving up to get in range of my skirmishers. So eventually here, I will be moving up my line infantry. Yeah, here they go. Get right behind my skirmishers here. And uh, they prepare to open fire on uh, the enemy units. Alright, you can see right here that... Uh, our cavalry has engaged over here on the left flank, and uh, I wasn't paying attention, and this is my micromanaging mistake, but uh, he was able to charge his cavalry right into my cavalry over here on the far left flank, and uh, I absolutely didn't see it coming because I was too busy looking on the other uh, side of the map, or the battlefield, so uh, I won't be reacting to that anytime soon. You can see that our infantry is engaged on the front. Um, the only error I believe my opponent made here, which this is my opinion, I mean I don't think it's shared by everyone, but you see how he put his uh, line infantry units in front of his skirmishers? I, I, I believe his skirmishers will just shoot into the back of his guys, and not always, but sometimes just hit his own men, which is, you know, pointless. 
that's why I use, that's why I always make sure my skirmishers are in front of my uh, line infantry because the line infantry can shoot over my skirmishers. Uh, he did manage to route one of my uh, cavalry units here on the right flank, and I came in from behind though with this cavalry unit, so somewhat make up for that uh, mistake I made earlier. You can see here that I'm, I bring up my grenadiers to uh, fire into the. Uh, ranks of cavalry here. I do believe I do believe I hit a few of my own horses, but I definitely hit more of my opponents. You can see us trading fire back and forth. In the center here he does manage about one of my uh, lifeguard units. Which is unfortunate, but uh, has to happen. Uh, he also ma he runs around another unit, and at this point I'm getting worried because uh, my line's breaking down, and uh, he's sending in this his black watch units to engage my uh, riflemen skirmishers uh, in close range, which isn't good for me. Uh, over here, my uh, cavalry did route, but I managed to route uh, his cavalry unit right here, and uh, now he's engaged my grenadiers in uh, hand -to -hand combat, and luckily the grenadiers uh, excel when it comes to uh, melee combat, so uh, they managed to route this lifeguard unit. Uh, just as he has to me, I he's, like, he's managed to route a few of my infantry units, I've managed to route a few of his, so it's pretty dead even right now. Uh, he brought in his black watch unit right here to uh, go with melee combat against my riflemen and he routed them but now I'm bringing in my uh, lifeguard afoot to uh, butcher his black watch because uh, I, I managed to hit them in the rear. Oh, no mercy. This is when you really gotta uh, love the uh, Total War series and their uh, in-depth uh, combat system where each unit is firing and uh, you can just see what every little action every man is doing. Um, I begin to fold up on his right flank and I also with my grenadiers I come over here and I throw some grenades into this range, uh, this ranger unit which it didn't uh, unfortunately I, I threw them kinda at a bad angle and not many of the grenades hit and now they're running backwards this is my micromanaging mistake but uh... they will turn around and eventually and start firing on the enemy again so i did lose a cavalry engagement over here you can see all the dead horses but uh... he charges into my lifeguard unit but they were prepared for it so uh... it's an even playing field right now it does say that uh... i'm winning in combat which I guess is true. I mean, it didn't help that his horses are exhausted and uh, that they are lacking in numbers greatly. And in this uh, cavalry unit here, uh, if you notice, my my opponent didn't bring a body a uh, general's bodyguard unit, and I just killed his general, which is always risky. So now the morale of his army is going to uh, fade away, basically. Uh, enemy general killed. And now you basically see the collapse of his army. He does have this one ranger unit left. But I will slowly come in on him and surround him. With his ranger unit, he does manage to route my, uh, one of my uh, lifeguard afoot, but uh, they only had 22 guys. Oh, now they only have 20. 20 guys out of uh, 120, so uh, that is quite a large uh, fatality rating right there. Here's my general sitting in the back, just chilling. I do like Empire Total Wars battles. I mean. Empire and Napoleon, if you compare the two, um, I do like Empire because they have more factions to pick from. And I also like it because the Grenadiers are slightly more effective, but uh, 
Both games have their give and takes. And you may disagree with me, but whatever. That's my opinion. He did have an, these two skirmisher units come back from routing. But I'm actually just going to fast forward it here because it's pretty self-explanatory. I run up to him. Actually, I have these guys throw grenades. We'll play that because it's kind of cool looking. Grenades! This is when you think everyone dropped their guns and run, but uh, no, they fight until the end. Grenades absolutely mow people down. And uh, that unit begins to rout, and then I decide to do the exact same thing over here. So they'll just readjust their line a bit. They'll throw more grenades. Eventually. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, there they go. Absolutely tore them apart. And then they'll begin routing. And uh, that's a battle. I think. Oh you know, yeah, this is definitely the end. Um, yeah, so anyway, good game to my opponent. Uh, you can see that we deployed basically the same amount of units. Uh, I only deployed 24 more than him. I did take a few less losses, but uh, we basically killed the same amount. And if this was like real, real life uh, 18th century uh, combat, uh, both of these armies would basically be annihilated to the point where they wouldn't be effective and they'd have to go back and resupply or whatever. But uh, I did technically win the day, so uh, good game to my opponent, and I will see you guys next time.